Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to use the oxidation reduction methodologies checking the re uh, reduction numbers or I should say the oxidation numbers I guess that's what we call them oxidation numbers to balance not a typical equation but this is what we call an ionic equation so here we have manganese per permanganate an iodine ion manganese oxide molecule and an iodate ion and so we assume then this equation is not balanced and not in number wise but also not probably in oxidation number wise so let's let's check it we're going to use the same technique that we used before for a typical equation but at the end we're going to do some things that's slightly different and we'll see in just a moment why we do that but the first several steps are exactly the same so what we do is after we write down the basic equation we're going to assign oxidation numbers to all the elements in the equation and of course always start with oxygen and the high electronegative ion um, um, atoms so here we have oxygen uh, that's typically at minus two uh, oxidation numbers we have four of them so four times minus two is minus eight and the whole ion is at a minus one level so that means that this must be plus seven because plus seven plus uh, minus eight is a minus one ion iodine here is at the minus one state so we can simply write this minus one again here oxygen is expected to be at minus two there's two of them so that gives you minus four balanced by the manganese that would the manganese would have to be an oxidation state of plus four to make that happen here oxygen start out at the minus two three times minus two is minus six but the whole ion is at a minus one state that means this iodine must be at plus five to have an overall ion oxidation state of minus one okay so now we have the oxidation numbers now we have to determine which of the elements change their oxidation number so here we can see that manganese go from plus seven to plus four iodine goes from minus one to plus five so those are the two elements here that are changing the oxidation number so for manganese um, we start at plus seven and we change that from plus seven to plus four that is a reduction in the oxidation number so the delta is equal to minus three iodine starts at minus one and changes to a plus five so that's an oxidation increase oxidation number increase from minus one to plus five that's a delta of plus six all right so to find the right balance for the oxidation numbers that's what we want to do we want to equalize the oxidation number change so if we have two of these that gives a minus six and we have one of these that gives us plus six when we add them together we get zero so you can see that if we have uh, two of the manganese permanganate and one of the iodines we can balance the oxidation uh, number change because the change will then be in either case a minus six and a plus six so that necessitates to put a two over here and we need a two over there then so that these two are balanced and that means we need a one over here and a one there we don't have to write it uh, might as well so just write a one there and one there so you can see that yes we balance them now see how this works on the oxidation state number <clears throat> so we have a change from plus seven to plus four since we have two of these ions two times a plus three is a plus six <clears throat> excuse me and then for the iodine we have only one of them starting at minus one going to a plus five that's a change of plus six so we have one of those plus six so we are balanced as far as the oxidation number changes are concerned but we're not done yet now I want to make sure that all the other atoms are balanced starting out and we're not going to count oxygen and hydrogen we'll leave those out till the end but it's manganese balanced we have two here and we have two there so that's good um, we have one iodine here one iodine there so that's good so manganese and iodine atoms are balanced what about the oxygen well we have eight of them here two times four is eight here we have four and there we have three that means oxygen is not balanced but what about the oxidation numbers before we start adding these any of these three water hydroxide or hydrogen ions we want to make sure what the uh, balancing is of the oxidation number so let's do that first so that's what we normally don't do when we have a simple equation but here since we have a lot of ions in the equation we want to see what the what the difference is in the oxidation numbers we expect them not to be balanced at this state so let's let's check it out so a check on the oxidation number we have two times a plus seven that's a plus 14 we have a two times four is eight times a minus two is minus 16 
Here we have 1 times a minus 1. And on the other side of the equation, we have 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 8. 2 times 2 is 4 times a minus 2 is minus 8. Here we have 1 times 5, that's plus 5. And we have 3 times a negative 2 is a minus 6. So if we now add up all the oxidation numbers on each side of the equation, what do we get? We have a 14, minus 16, minus 1, that's a minus 3. And on the right side of the equation, the 8s cancel out, and here 5 minus 6 is a minus 1. So notice that the oxidation numbers on both sides of the equation are not correct. What we need is we need two more electrons on the right side, and we need one more oxygen on the right side. So one way to add uh, negative charges on the right side is by adding the hydroxide ion, but since we need two, two oxygens, we're going to have to add, oh no, we don't need two, we only need one oxygen, but we need two of the negative charges, so we're going to add two hydroxide ions to the right side equation, so plus two times the hydroxide ion. So notice the oxidation states on these, oxygen is minus two, hydrogen is plus one, but we only have one of those. And so 2 times a minus 2 is minus 4, and 2 times a plus 1 is plus 2. So that means after we do that, we now on the right side have um, a minus 4 plus 2, and notice that now they add up to minus 3. So now we've balanced out the oxidation numbers by adding two hydroxide ions. The problem now is that we have one additional oxygen on the right side, we only have 8 on the left side, and we have 4 plus 3 plus 2, that's 9 on the right side, so one additional oxygen on the right side, and we now also have two additional hydrogens on the right side. So, well, wait a minute, one oxygen, two hydrogens, that's water, which means we now have to also add one water molecule on the left side, because there the oxidation numbers are balanced. You can see that hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus 1, oxygen minus 2, since there's two of them, so on the left side, we add another 2 for the hydrogen and a minus 2 for the oxygen, so we still didn't change it on the left side. We still have an oxidation number total of minus 3, and on the right side we also have a minus 3, so now we know that the oxidation numbers are balanced, and also all the elements are balanced on both sides of the equation, and we now have this equation completely balanced. All right, quick review. You have your basic equation. You first write down all the oxidation numbers, Start with oxygen and iodine because those are pretty short bets that uh, in this case we had knew this would have to be a minus one. Oxygens are going to be minus two right there and that makes it easy to determine that manganese here was plus seven, here was plus four, and iodine there had to be plus five. Then the next thing you do is figure out which of the elements their oxidation number changes. For manganese went from seven to four, for iodine went from minus one to plus five. That means a change of minus 3 for manganese and plus 6 for iodine. But we want the change to be the same, which means we're going to multiply this by 2 and this one by 1. All right, now it's balanced. Which means for the one that, you, that the change was only 3, we have to multiply that one by 2, which is what we did. We need two of them, so that now if we have two of them, that means 2 times a plus 3 or a minus 3 change is a minus 6 change, which balances the 1 times 1 here, which because here we went from minus 1 to plus 5, so the change there is a plus 6. So there we can see that the deltas are not balanced. Then the next check is to make sure that all the other elements are balanced. We can see that manganese is balanced, iodine is balanced, and then we notice that oxygen had 8 on the left side and only 7 on the right side. So we knew oxygen wasn't balanced, but then since this was an ionic equation, we also wanted to see if the uh, oxidation number was balanced, and when we checked the oxidation number, we noticed that the oxidation numbers were not balanced. So we needed another two negative charges on the right side, plus we needed another oxygen on the right side. So we could take care of the oxidation numbers by adding two hydroxide ions, which would add two negative charges. So that would balance the oxidation numbers. But now we ended up with two oxygens on the right side, instead of one extra oxygen, and two hydrogens. So we had one additional oxygen, two additional hydrogens on the right side, which could be balanced on the left side by adding a water molecule. And now the whole equation is balanced. And that's how you do that.